Another Pierce shield, just in case. How can I help? I will do what I must. Yes? Yeah, we've like no more firepower. Oh, well, wow, final kill. Well, Time to I can assist you. You know what? Not gonna chance it. Pull back. Skull trap. Do not wait. What is it? Spell trigger. Yep. My magic is at your command. What do you want? Even if it costs uh, Mazzy and Viconia their life. Thought we had another one in here. I'm ready for anything. There it is. Name it. Where's that trigger? What? The group needs me? No! It cannot end I am yours to command. Sire? Ah. Enough, Amelison. The gods have decreed this contest is over. I thought for a second we were gonna have to fight Palasan. A fifth time. All right, so here is the Solar that has been visiting Lily in her pocket plane. No! I am a god! This is not over until I say it is! I have to say, who's, uh... Belongings are here. I think Mazzy perished and she's been raised by the soul arm. You are no god, Priestess of Baal. You play with stolen energies that make you immortal, that give you great power, but that does not make you a god. No. The false one has not won! I refuse to believe it! Oh! first but you cannot die so long as the essences are within you even now however they struggle to flee from your weakened frame you are defeated and destiny belongs to the victor no no i i will kill you all you will do nothing amelison but accept your fate The time that was mentioned has come, Godchild. There is a choice before you. You have prevailed against all that have assailed you, and now you must decide your fate. Only one other spawn of the dead god remains, the sibling who fought at your side. Her portion of the essence is not large, but she must make a choice. You mean me, don't you? This is Emlyn. You're talking about the part of me that the taint, the powers I've developed. Do you intend to keep that essence, Godchild? Or will you surrender it to your elder sibling? If I could have gotten rid of it voluntarily, I would have done it a long time ago. Just shuddering. Take it. I don't want it. I never wanted it. As you wish, Imowin, so it is done. The only decision that remains, then, belongs to your sibling. The vast majority of the soul essences of the children of Baal, Lord of Murder, now belong to you, 
and you alone. You must now decide what to do with this power. Be wise. The choice is irrevocable. Lily doesn't want to give up power. I think she's surprised, actually, <laughs> that uh, everyone so freely gave up her essence. Didn't even know that was possible. I think she thought that uh, it might come to it that she'd have to make a decision about uh, Emowen. All right, asking what uh, the options are. First, you may choose to surrender that portion of the essence which remains with you. It shall be given to Amelisan and her soul, with all the essence it contains, shall be destroyed. Surrendering the essence will allow the gods to remove its evil taint and hide it well within the halls of Mount Celestial, forever preventing it from soiling further souls. You, Baldspawn, would be made immortal, free to continue your life with a destiny of your own choosing. The manipulations of gods will no longer be your concern, and your soul will be untainted. Because I think Lily has an interest to inherit the legacy of Ball if it means she can maintain her free will. She doesn't want to be a mere vessel for Ball. So let's hear what this other choice is. Once a Melisande soul is destroyed and the essence released, you may accept it into yourself if you want it and the throne of Baal will be yours to command. The taint of evil within the totality of Baal's essence is great, greater than anything you have ever known. It remains to be seen whether you will resist this evil or embrace it. Oh, it's a question of will. <laughs> Lily is overconfident in her own ability and willpower. Regardless, you will receive new enemies from amongst the gods. Surely Sirik, who usurped your sire's role at the Edict of Al the Overfather, would gain an interest in your powers. Your future is unwritten, but once chosen, the gods know that it will be of significance to the universe. You will have few allies, and your trials will not end anytime soon. The choice is difficult. But these are your two options, Balspawn. This is where your destiny is realized, and your future begins. I would caution you if I could. Great power comes with its own temptations and its own trials. Have you not been through enough? I think you would be happier in the end living your own life. But it sounds like Lily could, if uh, she could only resist it, which I think she has. <laughs> the confidence to do. But I would not think to speak for you, my friend. If you succumbed to temptation and became an evil power, however, it would sadden me to think I'd fought so long to support such an ending. Here's Nalia. You would be powerful, Lily Black, but what would you use the power for? What will it use you for? I might accept the power of an evil god if I thought I could help people, but I won't fool myself. I'd be tempted by the taint just like anyone else. But you know more about yourself than I do. So, it's finally come down to this, has it? After all we've been through, right from Candlekeep and Baldur's Gate, through Irenicus and Bodhi and their plans, I wonder what Gorion would say now. Everyone's saying she would miss Lily if she were to go. She owes her everything. But who wouldn't want to see the planes? Who wouldn't want to see this through to the proper end? How glorious to finally have the opportunity to grasp your birthright! To take up the reins of power as they are meant to be! 
fail to do so, and the only point to your having come this far will be to have fought off all those who sought to stop you. There's only one path. Take it, and perhaps I will even be the first of your clerics one day. <laughs> Think of it. The time has come to make your choice, Valspan. What is your wish? Lily looks at Imowen with her lips pursed tight in a tiny smile. Her dear Emmeline. Lily's always showered her with gifts, encouraged her with the art, protected her from harm, loved her. Yes. Lily's lips tremble, struggling to maintain that tiny smile, a tear welling in her eye. Her favorite little flower. Has she ever been grateful? Truly grateful disciplined after everything Lily's taught her, aware of Lily's eternal guardianship, responsive to Lily's affections? No. Lily's tear runs down a trembling cheek past the tiny smile that's now twisted into a hateful scowl. Her spoiled little attendant. She's never thanked her lady properly. Never mastered the art as an apprentice should. Never acknowledged the life debt she owes. Never indulged her lady's fantasies. Never. With eyes closed, Lily's tear falls from her cheek. And with it, the last bit of love she ever had for that poor little girl. Lily's eyes open and then narrow as her lips relax into a sinister grin. She was smart in the end to keep the second to last remaining child of ball so close. Malleable, submissive, and weak. All the easier to assure her ascension to the throne of blood. Or at least that's what she's told herself. Lily Black, Veldrin of Chednasad, the Terror of the Sword Coast, the Lady of Murder, Lilac, the black bitch of Boulder's Gate. As you wish, though the thought of you succumbing to the temptations of Ball's foul taint brings me no pleasure. We shall see what manner of power you become in time. Good luck. I'll miss ya. Although, somehow I just know we'll see each other again. Maybe I'll get you out of trouble again. You never know. Your decision has been made, Godchild. Now the act must be carried out. Prepare yourself. 